Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa a'ama wa al-Madi'een wa salam taslima kathira Dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh I pray you are all in good health and that you are all in good faith and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens many new things in your life May he give us all great blessings and guidance that we may reach our Imam Imam Ahmed al-Hassan alayhi salam and protect us all from shaitan and the evil ones among the jinn and men. My name is Yusuf McGowan and you are listening to the new HSR for Imam Ahmed al-Hassan alayhi salam. Now as many of you know from watching Tad's 248 we have received word from our Imam alayhi salam in Egypt and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us capable of serving him alayhi salam in the best way. Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen Hashem Studios has many functions that can act as tools and channels for the Imam salam. and we pray that the HSR can become a way to spread this blessed and great truth. As you all know we have TADS, we have HSR, we have the HSB form and our sister form. There is a new site soon to come inshallah and the HS media team is currently working on a monthly English Yemeni newsletter. Inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open up our fullest faculties and capabilities and make these projects a success and a platform for our Imam al Yamani alayhi salam. Tonight in our first segment we have brother and fellow Ansari Tamar al-Gamel joining us here in the Ansari apartment in Egypt. Brother Tamar will soon be working on a Arabic show for our Imam alayhi salam inshallah and I thought this would be a great opportunity for the brothers and sisters here on Hashem Studios to have an opportunity to meet him in English before he gets started. Brother Tamar you live here in Egypt and you have actually met Abdullah Hashem and Muhammad Hossam uh, in the past. Tell us a little bit about how you came to the Dawah of Imam Ahmed al-Hassan alayhi salam and how you came to meet up with us here under the banner of Yemeni alayhi salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad ala imma wal mahdiyina wa sallim tasliman kathira Alhamdulillah uh, thanks brother Joseph for having me on your great show and thanks to Abdullah and Alhamdulillah it's a great uh, opportunity to be talking to all uh, brothers and sisters uh, you can say it all started in January 2010 when I first met Abdullah uh, and then he introduced me to brother Muhammad Hussam and Alhamdulillah uh, it was great getting to know such people we spent several months hanging out talking about everything uh, related to conspiracies and the Antichrist series and then after a while uh, you know since Abdullah is a very busy guy we didn't meet for a while so after we were introduced uh, alhamdulillah to the da'wah uh, through Tad's of course alhamdulillah I became an Ansari but Abdullah never knew so after about uh, three months or something uh, after I became an Ansari uh, if you guys remember uh, the video of uh, brother Alan coming to Egypt and on the night when all the Ansaris uh, here in Egypt uh, renew their testimonies uh, on Paltok that moment I was in the room and Alan since him and me knew each other uh, through Paltok even before him coming to Egypt subhanallah it's all meant, meant to be anyway uh, he saw he saw my nickname in the room and he was like uh, oh guys uh, do you know that uh, Demeni Verdi which is my nickname on Paltok or uh, Verdi for short uh, on the forum he said uh, this guy is an Ansari his name is Tamer uh, my actual name my real name so Abdullah and Muhammad were uh, yani, like really excited as I knew later and immediately I received a call from uh, them and met with them on that night and subhanallah Alan if you think about it Alan came from Sweden to unite me with the guys subhanallah it's really a small world after all and alhamdulillah and subhanallah 
for uh, everything yani, we have been witnessing and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah rabbi the mean it's subhanallah it's amazing to see how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directs us through our lives and to look at all the synchronicities that have brought us to this point that has brought us to the call of Imam Ahmed al-Hassan al-Islam and that has brought us all together um, as Ansar, as brothers. It's an amazing thing. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Brother, you have been here with us now nearly every day for the past uh, two weeks or so. Uh, talk to us a little bit about how your life has changed since meeting your brothers, meeting your fellow Ansari, about making the group prayers here in the apartment and in public at the mosque and now working for Imam Ahmed al-Hassan al-Islam. Well, I got to say that the first thing worth mentioning here is about the prayer. Uh, when I first became an Ansari, of course, as all of you probably did, I was like praying all by myself in my room, each prayer. So I was always thinking about, uh, oh Allah, I am really looking forward to an Ansari group prayer. And Alhamdulillah, when Allah put these brothers in my life, Subhanallah. Inshallah, you will all know how it feels uh, once you start doing it. And those of you who uh, pray with other fellow Ansars in group knows what I am talking about. Second, I will actually repeat what I already said in episode 240, that living with the Ansars is like really taking your allegiance to the next level. Imagine all that you have been doing uh, after accepting the da'wah but only doing it with fellow Ansars amazing subhanallah I'm sure guys you are all familiar with the law of attraction so when you are with your brothers the signs keeps on appearing sign after sign after sign like for instance the most amazing uh, sign that we witnessed uh, alhamdulillah uh, the Ahmad cloud at the Lady Nafisa Mosque, which uh, Brother Joseph showed on the uh, on the latest Yemeni network uh, video. Alhamdulillah, may Allah unite the Ansars all over the world, inshallah. And what an, uh, an honor it is, inshallah. Mashallah, brother. And there's no doubt that we all feel the same. One of the three things that I remember that the Prophet وسلم, said makes a believer happy is meeting his brother in faith. And each time a brother comes into our lives, uh, I'm sure that many of us feel the same. The energy is just, it's unexplainable. You had the opportunity to stand up and protest for our dear 24 Ansar in Iraq, who, as we speak, are on trial to face execution for committing no crimes at all for simply expressing their beliefs in Imam Ahmed al-Hassan alayhi salam. Talk to us a little bit about that day, getting ready for the protest with the brothers. Um, talk to us about your experience uh, in front of the embassy, protesting with your brothers, and about how important it is right now for the Ansar to become proactive. Well, alhamdulillah, first it's a blessing from Allah to give us such opportunity to serve our brothers in Iraq and serving Ahlul Bayt with what Allah made us capable of. So subhanAllah going to that protest made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy with us if I may say so. And I am saying that because you guys should have seen how smooth the whole protest went. SubhanAllah if uh, it's as if Allah is telling us you just make your step and I will do the rest. The police officers were great, security of the embassy were great, and they were all like really interesting in what we are doing. To the extent that Abdullah and me had the opportunity to give an idea about the Imam السلام, to one of the guards and Abdullah told him about how America is the biggest Dajjal. And actually we would have never imagined that the whole matter in a couple of hours could reach the ambassador and that he set an appointment to meet up with him. So subhanallah, just be active in whatever country you're in, whatever position you're in, and be sure that Allah will do the rest. 
I mean we really need to start like moving and Allah is with us inshallah Inshallah Rabbi Alameen and you're absolutely right it's so important that we move forward and work and work and work as our Imam alayhi salam tells us to do I pray that we work in the best way and that we trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with us and that he will help us in our affairs inshallah uh, Brother Tamer, before we finish up here tonight, talk to the brothers and sisters about what they can expect from your upcoming program for the Yemeni Islam here on HSR. Inshallah, brothers and sisters, the show will be like uh, the Arabic version of Joseph's HSR show. Uh, it will feature, the, inshallah, interviews with Ansars, segments about hadith, some readings from the Imam's teachings and from the Ansar's books and this is just an idea uh, about what will be on the show and of course all your ideas are more than welcome I hope inshallah that this make Allah and the Imam alayhi salam pleased with us and inshallah looking forward to know what you will think of it and alhamdulillah for everything and it will be soon inshallah Inshallah, mashallah, brother, and thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we pray that we can get your show going very soon, and we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps you in every way. Well, Joseph, thanks to Allah and to you and to all the Ansars. Thanks for giving me this opportunity. What an honor it is. And may Allah be pleased with you all. And Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad ala imma wa al-mahdiin wa sallim tasliman kathira fi aman Allah. As soon as we have more information on the new HSR in Arabic, we will let all of you know. Uh, coming up next is Sister Labaik Ahmed. Alhamdulillah rabbi alameen. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad wa ala wa al-mahdiin wa sallim tasliman kathira. قسما بالمصحف ان نصحف قسما بالمصحف ان نصحف قسما بالمصحف ان نصحف قسما بالحمد وبالكوثر قسما بالمصحف والمنبر قسما بلمعنى ولوانا قسما بالموطن والمهجر قسما ان نهلك اعدانا ونخزي الدجال الاحوال قسماً بالجن ووحشته والجنة والنور الأنوار قسماً بالدنيا والأخرى بالحزن وبالثأر الأكبر قسماً برفاة أعزتنا بالحق وبالموت الأحمر قسماً أن نحيي قتلانا أو نقت المسلم فتفجع قسما بترابك يا احمد قسما بالمصحف ان نصحف قسما سنعزز فوضنا والنادي احمد قد انضع قسما بالمهد اذا صلى قسما بالنصر اذا كفر قسما بالمهد إذا صلى قسما بالنصر إذا كبر قسما أن ننهي محنتنا بل ننهي الفوضى والمنكر قسما أن نسعى لا ننسى أن نعمل ليوم الأكبر قسما بترابك يا أحمد قسما بالمصحف أن نسقط قسما سنعزز فوضنا والله أحمد قد أنبأ